This is a demonstration of the Group Swap Expert functionality, which is new and unique to DataLink Viewer 2011. I'm going to start this sample report, which comes as part of the installation. And as you can see, this report is grouped at level 1 by employee or sales rep and at level 2 by product type. You can see this also down here. I'm going to start by clicking this Group Swap Expert. This dialog reflects the current grouping. Level 1 is an employee last name and level 2 is the product type name. And the unique thing about this is that I can now swap them by simply dragging one over the other. And just like that, the report has changed so that now it's product type at level 1 and employee at level 2. And I can do this again. And you can see that this is happening very quickly because I'm not hitting the database. It's all happening on the client side. I can also take other fields and formulas in the report and bring them in to replace the current grouping logic. So this is a formula that returns the day of the week. I'm going to drag it over the employee last name. And just like that, report now is grouped at level 1 by day of the week. Or I can do this by year. I can also replace the level 2. So for example, I can take the country, replace the level 2 element. And now the report is grouped by country at level 2. The nice thing about this functionality is that you do not need to do anything to your report to make this happen. Any existing report with an existing grouping structure can benefit from this functionality. The fields and formulas that participate on the left-hand side as candidates for changes in groups are based on what is visible on the report right now or what is visible on it if you drill down into uh, lower level sections. Uh, but you can also force formulas that are invisible on the report to participate by naming them with underscore OK or you can force them to not participate by naming them underscore NOK. While any grouped report can participate in the group swap expert, you can push things even further by using the following approach. Start by creating a formula for each one of your group levels. And the formula must be named according to the following structure, DLV, group, L, and then the level of the grouping. You can see that this report at level 1 currently has employee.lastName, but let's assume that in the group swap expert, we dragged country into the level 1. In that case, DataLink Viewer on the fly will change this particular formula and will provide as its expression the country instead of the employee last name. That means that in your cross tabs, and we're going to go into the cross tab expert here, currently the columns are the level 2 and the rows are the level 1. The cross tab will dynamically reflect the new grouping structure that gets triggered by the group swap expert. In a similar way, if I go into the chart expert, and right now it's on change of whatever I'm grouping on at level 2. So the chart will also reflect the new grouping. Back in DataLink Viewer, I'm going to show the cross tab. And keep in mind that the level 1 grouping is reflected as the rows in the cross tab and as the breakdown of the chart on the left. And the level 2 grouping is reflected as the columns in the cross tab and as the breakdown of the chart on the right. I'm going to invoke the group swap expert. And as a first step, let's change the level 1 grouping. Instead of employee, we'll use year. So I'm going to take the year, drag it over the employee last name, and just like that, the cross tab has changed and the chart on the left-hand side has changed. Now let's change the level 2 grouping. I'm going to take the day of the week and drag it over the product type name. And just like that, the cross tab is now reflecting columns by day of the week. And similarly, the chart is reflecting the same breakdowns. And I, of course, I can also swap them, for example. So I can do this and just the cross tab and the charts are now swapped.